Hello everyone, today we have a new package. We have a new package here. It's a new laptop. I just ordered it. I mean, it's a new laptop for me, but it's actually a quite old already laptop. We are talking about a Dell mobile workstation. And this is a small gift for me as always, because I'm always trying to get the best out of the computer that I use, that I test, and as well for my PhD. And I want to have something a little bit more flexible when I am traveling again back to Spain and to carry on all my CAD software, my simulation software, it can be only installed on Windows. So I really need always a reliable and powerful laptop for the go. And I just thought, okay, let's buy something old, but very powerful, expandable, and with huge amount of features and characteristics that can really help me uh, for my research, for my PhD, for my studies. And let's just unbox it. Let's just try it. Stay with me if you want to know more about the Dell Precision 7530. Dell computers usually have this package, at least the laptops, you know, just to pull out the computers. Here we have, here we have the power cable. This is a three, this is a three pole power cable, pretty standard for laptops from Dell. And here we have the power supply. This should be a beefy power supply. I guess 180 watts, yeah, 180 watts, but they are not USB-C, of course. This is the old round uh, port that Dell computers or Dell workstations or heavy-duty well, Dell workstations use still to have. So that's pretty much it. Looks actually, looks actually like new. Interesting. And this is it. This is a heavy boy, of course. Yeah, that was everything. And let's unpack this. So from the outside looks pretty good actually, pretty, pretty good looks like totally like new actually. Like the pots are not used and this is a four year old laptop already, a little bit more than four, four years, but it looks it, it looks like new, really guys, like the pods doesn't seem to be used. Not even the Thunderbolt pod. Nice, this is pretty cool. Uh, I paid for this laptop 500 euros. 500 euros only. It's always like 500 US dollars. Pretty cheap, amazingly cheap. I am always, as I told you before, I'm usually, when I have free time, I am scrolling eBay locally in Germany, it's called eBay Clarenzeigen. And when I have free time, I really scroll down for workstation or for something that I, it can be useful for the channel or for me. And I got this, this, this really cheap uh, offer and I bought, I bought it immediately because I was exactly, I just sold my Razer Blade 15, the OLED, I sold it. Um, and I still need a laptop to travel to Spain to, go to meet my professors for my PhD. So I was in the need of a new laptop, Windows laptop, and I bought this, it looks amazing. Let's just clean it a little bit. Looks like, I don't know, like food or <laughs> something. But yeah, it's no problem. I mean, usually when you have used laptops, you expect something like this, like normal wear for the from the use, but at least from the outside, it looks really, really nice. The screen looks also nice. I have no, that's the only actually thing that I am uh, kind of still worry about what screens does it has. Because usually the Dell computers, the Dell workstations you can buy usually with one really cheap option of display, which it looks really, really bad, like really bad. And I didn't ask the seller about the screen. So I hope it's not that. It's usually not that, just really when you do not take care of what are you buy buying, you get that display included. But let's let's turn it on. The Dell logo is there, perfect. I mean, that's, that's just something. Actually, the computer is working. I already turned it on. It has Windows 11 Pro for workstations, which only these license of workstations, they are pretty amazing because they are, or they are usually included with Dell workstations. That, has, that have more than four cores in the integrated CPU when, they, when, you buy it, when you buy it. This workstation has an Intel Xeon E5 
2886M CPU, this is a 6 core CPU, 12 threads with a base clock speed of 2.90 GHz and it can turbo boost up to 4.7 GHz. I mean a 4 years old workstations turbo boosting up to 4.7 GHz that is in two cores of the 6 cores but for main but for the main application that I use like SolidWorks, like Atia those speeds are actually great because those softwares, those CAD software are still mostly single core based on the engine in how, they, how the software works. For example, SOLIDWORKS and CATIA, they really take advantage of processors that are really high frequency speeds and for turbo boosting with two cores up to 4.67 GHz, I think it's just an amazing thing. And this is a four, four years old laptop, do not, do not forget. So we have 6 core, 1212, I got it with 32 GB of DDR4 memory. This is non-ECC memory, which is great because I'm going to be upgrading with my own ECC, with my own memory actually. I, and the, the nice thing, it just gets better. I have one 256 GB NVMe drive for the main operating system and I got two 512 GB NVMe's as storage SSDs. I mean, you can just make a count the NVMe's SSDs, the license of Windows 10 Pro, the, of Windows 10 Pro for workstations, it's already a, a little bit of money and I just paid 500 euros for this. And I don't got this screen, uh, the bad screen, I got a, a good screen, which that, that's really for me because <laughs> I didn't want to, to get the, the, the bad screen. And it has, a, it has two GPUs, the integrated GPU with the Intel Xeon, it is a pretty basic U Ultra HD graphics P620. It can do the job, but it's mostly just to output the display. And it has an NVIDIA Quadro P2000 integrated, uh, dedicated GPU, which for, with, uh, has four gigabytes of dedica dedicated GDDR5 memory. It's not that much memory compared with what I have here in my workstation at my desk, or, what, or with what I had in my Razer, which was a 3080 with 16 gigabytes of video memory. But for my applications, for my PhD, I made a lot of research, a lot of benchmarking, a lot of tests, of course, and a lot of, a lot of 3D modeling, heavy modeling, heavy simulations. And I do not require that much graphics power. I do require a little bit of CPU, high speeds, just to construct, to model. But in order to run the simulations, I run them pro most of the time here, but when I'm on the go, I already optimized that much my models for my research that I really can compute the models in a few seconds. It doesn't matter with kind, what kind of computers do I have. I, I, I just need something powerful in the graphics for the pre-visualization, as, as I just mentioned, for the construction, for pre-visualization and for post-visualizations. I need something fast in the graphics and fast in the CPU. But I do not really require that much power in order to compute the simulations. I optimize a lot. My simulations, I do not simplify anything, but I optimize the things that I do. So the hardware that I got is just incredible. Three NVMe SSDs, 32 gigabytes of RAM, the fastest Intel Xeon from that time, a nice screen, 50 inches laptop. Everything looks pretty, like working pretty good. The battery is in, in very good condition. Also the battery, I got the original charger from Dell 180 watts, and this just gets even better. Let's talk about the pods that this computer has and a deep preview of the 7530 and how you can really justify buying this kind of old workstations nowadays in 2023. I will talk in a different video. For today, just a quick review and why did I bought this? But let's talk just about the pods. This is a real kind of desktop replacement. So in one side of the workstation, you have two Thunderbolt tripods, pods, which is great because you can expand a lot your computer with these kind of devices, maybe like a 10 GB network or an external GPU. If you really want, or if you really have an application that really requires more, more graphics power, you can have something like, do I have the Razer Chroma X and put it here and push even further the graphic limitation of this device. You have one SD card reader, full size, and you have here a card reader slot like for enterprises in which you need to log in or verify. Uh, your credentials using a specific card and then in the back you have your power input which is this round uh, pot from from Dell you have an HDMI 2.0 it's not it's just going to output 4k at 60 frames per second uh, but I mean it's more than enough for a lot of you guys I'm, I am not intending to use this laptop for any 
desktop problems. I really wanted to, to have it on the go for when I'm traveling. And then I ha we have a display port 1.4, which this can also output 4K, uh, I think 4K 120 Hz probably. This is going to be, be capable of. And then you have a full size RG45 Ethernet port. This is a gigabit uh, Ethernet port, nothing fancy, but it's still there. I mean, you have the option that you don't need any dongle or any adapter or something like that. And then in the other side, you have two USB 3.1 ports and one full size uh, headphones and microphone jack combo. And I mean, these computers I bought it, it is really in pristine condition, actually, like really, really pristine condition. It, it has nothing. This is this is the history of my new new workstation. This is going to be now my my to go everyday <laughs> laptop. I, I have a lot of computers here at my home, but I really I'm really, really excited of this because uh, a small history when I was in the university, when I started my PhD in the university, I was in charge of, bu of buying the computers for my department and I got a lot of Dell workstations, tower workstations and mobile workstations for us in the department, for the other PhD candidates as well. And for me, I got a Dell Precision 7, 720, one generation before of this, but one model uh, bigger than this. And with that, 7, 720 workstation, I made a ton of stuff, like incredible research. I took that big monster everywhere with me. I traveled the world with that super heavy workstations. And it was like a, my small partner of computer, my Dell Precision 70, 70 and 20. And, I, and now I got after five years, for five years, I got the smaller brother, the 15 inch uh, class workstations, but a new generation newer. And I'm really, really excited to use this as my everyday carry, even if it is heavy. I mean, I, I can carry heavy stuff. It doesn't matter for me. I just put everything in my, in my backpack. I'm going to install now all the software that I need. I'm going to reconfigure the solid state drives. I'm going to, I am going to install my solid state drives. I am going to upgrade the memory RAM. I will let you know in the next video how it really performs for real life and real engineering applications. Thank you very much, guys, that you are still with me in this journey of my YouTube channel. Maybe I don't have time that much to post a lot of videos as much as I want, but I have a lot of things to do with my full-time job as an IT professional, with my full-time PhD going on, and I do my best really to uh, make uh, the best equilibrium possible with my personal life, with my girlfriend, with my university stuff, with my work stuff, and I'm really glad that you are still here in the channel. Let me know what kind of applications would you like to test, maybe some games. I do not plan to play games in these workstations, but let me know what kind of engineering applications do you want to see. Maybe MATLAB, maybe Blender as well for 3D modeling, SOLIDWORKS, CATIA, UNIGRAFICS, any simulation software like Autodesk, Inventor probably. Let me know what kind of software do you use, or maybe MATLAB or Arduino, anything that you, that you think about for engineering applications, and maybe we can try it out. Thank you very much guys again for watching and see you until the next time.